Hey everyone, I'm back again with another beauty video. In this look, I will be doing a gorgeous, alluring, and beautiful bridesmaid tutorial. So, without further ado, let's proceed to the makeup tutorial. Bye! <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm starting off again with my primer as my makeup base. I'll be using my Carlan Pure Gold and I'm just placing it on the part that I wanted to cover my pores. Next is my Estee Lauder Equalizer Smart Makeup SPF 10 and I'm just using my foundation brush to spread all the product in my face and of course blending it all together using my beauty blender alright so let's move on to the concealer I'll be using my LA girl I'll include my eyelid as this is going to be my primer for my eye makeup <laughs> and I'm just placing it to the blemishes that I wanted to cover and then just blend it all together now I'm going to set my concealer using my RSME no color powder and now moving on to the brow I'll be using my Estee Lauder in the shade brown and I'm just outlining my original brow. And now I wanted to define my eyebrow. I'll be using my smudger from Zoeba and again my concealer. I'm just cleaning off the harsh line to make it fine to make it more sharp and now of course you need to set your eyelid as well using my Guerlain compact foundation and crystal pearl and now for my eye makeup I'll be using my palette from Givenchy and I'm just going to get this brown shade color and placing it on my outer V. Next is this darker brown red color. I'm just putting it again on my outer V and blending it all together. Alright, and now I'll be using my YSL palette. I got it for my sister, my eldest sister, Ati Jaja, and I'm just placing this rose gold color on the half of my eyelid. Don't forget to blend all the harsh line. For my lower lash line, I'm just using the same color that I have used on my eyelid. To intensify my eye makeup, I'll be using my Stella All Day Eyeliner and I'm not making a winged eyeliner this time. <laughs> For tight lining, I'll be using my Sephora Eye Pencil to go in black. And I'm going to put on my falsies off cam. And now to fill in my brow, I'll be using my Sephora Brow Thickener. Now to set the rest of my face, I'll be using my Guerlain Compact Foundation. The shade Paid Chick. And now to give the finition on my round face, I'll be using my favorite Holy Grail Palette Couture from Wiesel. And I'm just placing it on the areas that I want it to warm up. Especially my nose. Now for my blush, I'll be using my light comb and I'm just placing it on the apples of my cheeks.
now it's time to coat on some lashes here i'm using my tart lights camera lashes Now to highlight the highest point of my face, I'll be using my The Balm Mary Luminizer. To make the illusion of bigger eye, I'll be using my Lancome in the shade Rose Ballerine. And for my lippy, I'll be using my favorite MAC Mer. I got it from my sister at the Pinky, and this is so beautiful. I'm going to make some color from Maybelline Creamy Matte here. I'm using the shade Daringly Nude. Now it's time to set my whole makeup in place. Here I'm using my NYX Matte Finishing Matte. Ooh. And I'm done. Oops, but then I realized I can't go without fixing my own hair. So I'm just spritzing a mineral spring moisturizing and smoothing hair sprayer from Watson's. And now let's start braiding. So I'm just going to start on the other half of my hair. I'm just gonna grab like this much and divide it into three. Oh my god, it's very hard to explain. So we'll just cross the left strand under the center and just add some hair. Pick up another small section from the left side of your head and add more hair to your braid. Again, you just need to pick up some small strand every time you cross the pieces under the center strand. Just continue the routine until you reach your ear. So when you reach your neck, you just need it to do a regular braid until you reach the end of your hair. And now I'm just pulling out a little bit of my braid to make it more voluminous and messy. Also in front, I'm just getting a snitch of my hair to make it more messier. And again, I'll fix the back of my hair using some bobby pins. I can't show you it now but I'll take a picture of it so this is how it looks like. Thank you so much for watching this bridal makeup tutorial video. See you again in my next beauty video. Thank you so much you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share or comment down below whatever look you wanted me to do. Bye! See ya! Take care!